when I was a Dave Ramsey guy, that was the thing, right? Like aggressively attack debt. And, and I did that for a while. And so what I would have happen is I would, and this is classic, like so many people will relate to this. I would aggressively hound at my debt, pay it, pay it, pay it. And because I was doing that, <laughs> I would still be broke. I would have nothing saved. So what would always happen is I get about halfway through, car would break down. Guess what? I'm back in debt now. And so it's this cycle that people struggle with. And so what I realized is that paying off debt should be looked at as an investment. It requires capital. It has a yield. When I pay it off, I free up a monthly payment. That's kind of like cash flow. When I pay it off early, I save interest, which is kind of like the rate of return. And so just like any investment, I need to look at paying off debt as that. And I need to look at what's my cost of investing and what's the alternatives? What are the opportunity costs? Could I put this money elsewhere and earn a higher rate of return? So if I have a 25% interest rate credit card and it's costing me you know, 500 bucks a month and I've got 10 grand or whatever it is on it, that's probably a good move. I might look at that and say, okay, I can make 25% on this by paying it off. I can free up a $500 a month cash flow, and it's only a $10,000 investment. I probably can't get that with $10,000 anywhere else. But if I've got you know, a, a car note and it's a $50,000 car note, my interest rate's 3% and it only costs me $300 a month. Like for sure, I could make 3% in a plethora of different places. So I think that's the mentality. The root cause of consumer debt, and this is so important that, you know, I realized this a number of years ago, the root cause of consumer debt is lack of money. So paying off debt doesn't solve the problem. I've got to look at what was the root. I didn't have income and I didn't have savings. So if I aggressively attack my debt and I don't solve those two problems, it's almost 100% chance that I'm going to end up back in debt. So that would be my answer there. And then the other thing that two factors into it is could I restructure? You know, a lot of people don't look at, could I, could I maybe do some balance transfers or could I do maybe a, a different, you know, term loan with a different interest rate? And those are different technical things that I'll help someone look at too on. Could we, could we connect you with somebody that does that? Because that could be a better answer where I can restructure the debt, keep my cash and go invest it still. If you're wondering what does Wealth Dynamics do, how can we actually help you? Number one, if you haven't gotten a copy of my book, Blueprint of Financial Freedom, grab one now. You can get that down in the uh, comments in the video. You can get the link for that. Number two, we do a free course on Fridays on personal finance. Hey, you can also get the link for the description there too. And then finally, if you have a desire to start getting help walking through these different phases toward financial freedom, book a call with my team. Go to our website, set up a call, and we're able to help out and answer questions. That's how we can help you. Thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Make sure you turn notifications on and I will talk to you guys on the next video.